Okay. Uh, good afternoon. Good afternoon. How, how are you? <laughs> I can, see, I can see his smiling face. You can see his smiling face. Yeah, fully ready for this interview. Anyways, yeah. Uh, yeah. good morning or good afternoon or good evening wherever you are listening or watching us. Uh, we are live on Zoom and also on uh, Facebook. Uh, remember, Tajuddin Alao is my name. My name is never changed. Mind you, it's never <laughs> changed. <laughs> Today mm -hmm. is a Monday. 38th of uh, May 2022. And as usual, we are in for table tennis. Yeah, we are in for table tennis as usual. You know what I mean? Yes. Okay, I've got a special guest today. A special guest for you today. I know people are waiting for the special guest of the day. Relax, guys. He is going to introduce himself, of course. But to start with, let me just quickly play a little bit of a, a clip for you and let's see how it goes. Please permit me to play this one, all right? Yes, yeah, you're permitted. <laughs> Thank you so much. Hello, everybody. My name is Rahma Tala Ella. And let me tell you a little secret about table tennis. Do you know that table tennis can be played by anyone? That's say that's yeah. just a little bit of advert. Can you see yourself, bro? <laughs> yeah, so <I> <laughs> okay, okay, okay. So that people will understand that we are here for what? For our table tennis. Okay. Yeah. Uh, I've introduced myself, and I believe our guest for the day is going to introduce himself. Please, over to you. Um, my name is Eric Hammond. I'm originally from Accra, Ghana, and uh, I'm a Ghana by tribe. You know, in Ghana, we have different tribes. Uh, I'm a, I'm a Ghana, so I speak fluent Ghana, which, which sounds similar to Yoruba. So. Okay, okay. How can we say hello? How can we say hello, please? Say hello to um, people listening and watching now. Say hello in Ghanaian language. I will tell you a thing. Okay, hello. what is the reply for that? Uh, in okay oh thank you so much okay let's begin please uh did you remember the year you started playing table tennis professionally and hope you can tell us the club name the location in ghana over to you well i think i have to go all the way back from the beginning when it, when it actually started mm. so i'll be able to you know, tell the story for okay. everyone to understand. I, I could remember I was um, 10 years old. And um, those days, we used to play around, you know, in the area. We just, you know, joined two benches. I, I mean, you guys understand, two benches or so one big table. And we pull a wooden bar across and we support it with two empty tin milk and then we use it as our net, and sometimes we have to beg carpenters to, you know, <laughs> <Don't> <laughs> make a bench. <laughs> so, yeah, to make a bat and everything. Mm -hmm. So it was something that we were just using it for fun, basically after school. That is what okay. we were doing. And in fact, um, I didn't know that I would I would become a professional table tennis player. It was it wasn't mm -hmm. even at so all. It was just it was just pure fun as kids and everything. And um, there was there was this one Sunday, they, they, we used to have a, a kids fit club. So every Sunday, I'm sure you guys are also aware of the kids fit club that goes on in definitely most of Africa every weekend. Yeah. So one Sunday, they, there was a competition going on across different areas of Accra. 
Okay. And uh, they wanted a table tennis player to represent the Kisses club in my area. And the guy that was supposed to play, he didn't turn up. Wow. He didn't turn up to play. So it just came into one of the neighbors' mind that, oh, they should go and call Eric. Eric. <laughs> yeah. So I was actually at home in the morning. Okay. I was doing um, my morning chores. I was just washing plates and everything. And they came and called me that, oh, this man wanted to see you because he wanted you to come straight to the park because there's a total tennis condition going on. I was, I was, I was little. Okay. You know? Like, do you and remember then, the age? Do you remember the age? That that was that was eighty four ten. Okay, was 10. okay, yeah, good. Was ten years, so that was nineteen eighty four. Okay. So when we when I got there, the it's my uncle basically. It's okay. um, it's a distant uh, uncle. And he said, look, we are expecting this guy to represent us for the games, but he hasn't turned out. So okay. you just go and 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 just do what I'm doing. And, do. and that's right, you know. So it, it was like. A David and Goliath thing. I was the little one, and wow. this man that I was playing against, he came from a different area and was well known. You know, mm. it was a very well known local champion from his okay. area. Okay. So before before we start, he was even scaring me and saying, Listen, I know where you live and everything. If you beat me, I'm come to beat you. <laughs> so, so people overheard him and they said, No, don't listen to him. We, we are here to defend you. You know, if you can be in, do that. So do that. we started and I won the first game. Wow. And as he was passing by me, he told me that I've won you. I've won you. I'll really beat you. Okay. you know? I, I got a bit panicked and I got a bit scared. So he won the second game. Okay. And and one of the um, members of the Kissy Club that I was playing for, yes. he called me to the side and said, look, this is for... And I was only 10. I didn't really have understanding of what, you know, it was okay. about. And okay. he said, look, this is just a sport. He can't do you anything. He was just trying to scare you. So if you can beat him, beat him. And the minute you finish, I will just quickly snatch you and run with you. So he can't do nothing to you. Hmm. So that that empowered me. <laughs> and in, in fact, he, he, he wasn't happy with the way I was so ruthless. Wow, wow. <laughs> yeah, right. So after after beating him, yep. the man did exactly what he, he, he said, and he quickly snatched me and he ran with me. And it's like, but some people wanted to dash me money. You know, Africa, we do. It. I know, yeah. of course, of course, I understand. Some people wanted to dash me money and everything. So it took me to, I mean, a very distant place, and I was being protected. But in fact, it wasn't it wasn't really coming to beat me. So in the end, he said, you know what? Let me speak to. You. Okay. He said he wanted to speak to me. And wow. he said, oh, listen, you've done well. This is the first time I've lost. In wow. Film and, yeah, this is the first time. So you are very brave. In fact, he even became a very good friend. Wow. Yes, he became a very good friend. He said he's, he's so proud of me. Do you remember his brave. name? Yeah, his name is Charles. Charles, okay. Charles. Good, good, good. good. It's Charles. So from there, yeah. the... They, they they have a, a table tennis coach. Okay. In the yeah, it's about 10, 10 to twenty minutes walk from where they play. they organize the competition. I don't I never knew I don't know him nothing of that sort. And they said, oh, this it seems like this guy got talent, so they should take him to the coach to see if the coach can help him. So they took me there, and they, the coach saw me, and they spoke and they said. This boy just called raw talent. So you are the professional coach if you can help him to okay. develop. And my coach, his name is uh, it's called SK Alote. SK Alote. He, hmm. SK Alote, yes. He used to be a um, former table, um, Ghana table tennis number okay. one. Okay. So when, we, when they took me to him, he said, okay, come tomorrow, mom, uh, Monday after school. He showed me the location of where they practice and everything. And I went there and from there he started training me. Mm. You know? And every 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 Monday to Friday after school, I'll go for two to three hours practice. And um, wow. he, he really liked the way I was learning very fast and everything. So he actually became my second father. 
Wow, yeah. wow, that's yeah. great. <laughs> that's great. Th thank you so much. Uh, did you really play for the club? As in, when in terms of uh, playing and then representing your club when you were in Ghana? So afterward, so you tell us, do you ever maybe represent Ghana internationally for table tennis? Oh yes. Uh, so from there, from yes. so I'm just continuing from there. So that yes, yes. Good. Yeah, so from, from there, at the age of um, thirteen, I was the the number one junior champion in Accra, not regionally, because okay. we have different. In Accra. We had we had ten regions at that time, so I was okay. here and the under fourteen champion, and um, they organized one national junior competition okay. in, in Accra at the Accra Sports Stadium. Yeah, the, uh, the, the hall is name is uh, it's called DG Akramani Hall. They organized it, but we didn't know that the, the Ghana Table Tennis Association has invited some, some Chinese coaches okay. to come and yeah, to come and watch and to select the ones that they think they have the the potential to develop very fast. Okay. So well during the competition, these people came about six Chinese um, coaches. Oh, just came with, they just sat there and they are watching all the players, all the junior players that are playing the competition. So when they see that you are you are you are a big good, then mm. they said, okay, we, we like this guy, we like that guy. In the end, they chose um, ten players. Ten players. And ten players from the well, hundreds of hundreds of young kids, boys and girls, and everything. And funny enough, I was the first person they chose. Wow! <laughs> yes, I, was, I was the first. I was the first person to the choose. Wow! Yeah, yeah. I was the first person to choose. They because of the way um, my coach had a lobby of training in China as well. Okay. So his, his style of play and the way ah. he, the way he moves and everything that is what he impacted in us. That's good. So I think that resonated with the Chinese people. The way Ooh. I move. So they chose me and nine other players, and we came under their wing, and they started training us from there. So from the age of 13, mm -hmm. I was under um, the, the training of Chinese, uh... yeah, and, and Chinese coaches. You yes. know, while they, they were training the juniors, and, and at the same time they were training the the seniors okay. as well. But two people just specialize in the juniors. They were they were focusing on us. Okay, you know. Yeah, so that is how I managed to, to progress. So from there, I became number one in my school. Oh. And then, yes, I worked my way up into the, the, the nationals. Every year, there's a competition we call inter-regional, inter like inter-state. Inter inter-state, you know? okay. That's right, yeah. So I was part of the representative that represented Accra. Okay. You know? The, 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 let's say the state of Accra. So we go and we play competitions and everything all, all across the country. But during that time too, there were other young up and coming juniors that they were very, very competitive. So hmm. it was very, very challenging. And I quite remember there was this one player that he was using Pimple at that time. He's Pimple, wow. Pimple at his backhand. And in fact, everybody hated him because we, we did not understand the concept of simple. Simple, okay. Yeah, so when he pushed it to us, we also push it to him. <laughs> the ball goes, oh. the ball goes and just fire us. And it's like, we're struggling. We, we never go to the concept mm. of it. Anytime we see him, we just want to avoid him. <laughs> and he was the only guy that was using people in the country. Wow. Yes, he was the only guy. But unfortunately, yeah. we, 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 we never, the, the Chinese coaches never, because he was the only one, okay. they never reached the time that we were playing against him. Probably well, they could have explained it to us how, okay. the, con the, the, how the pimples work. So they never had a chance to see, so okay. they couldn't explain it. All the players that we were playing against, they were using smooth rubbers, mm -hmm. you know. Yeah, but through that, I managed to enter the the genius when I was um, fourteen. Well, when I was fifteen, 15, okay. I was the I was the number one in the under under the under seventeen 
and then I gradually work my way up hmm. until I get to um, uh, the national level. Wow, the national level. Are you still on the but, same uh, same club then, or you change your club? No, I was. Um, I, I played for Greater Accra. Okay. Okay. Was, yes. Yes. I played for whilst I was schooling. I was still. I was. Okay. I, I was for for okay. Greater Accra. Oh, then, oh, okay. Yes. And through that, we managed to. We traveled mostly. We we're traveling to Nigeria because we we're hey. in the they used to organize junior competitions and everything. Mm. And and those days to Nigeria, they, Nigeria, they are very, very big fan of table tennis. So they used yes, to yeah. organize this competition yes. called Bombita in Nigeria. Bon- yes, 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 Bombita, yeah. It's a very a very big competition that people travel all over. So and Milo sometimes. <laughs> that's it, that's it, you got it. Yeah, and we go... Just for the exposure, because the Nigerians, they, they, they have produced good players for, over the years. So yes. we're trying to emulate what they are doing. Oh, yeah. Unfortunately, they didn't have the resources like Nigeria to Nigeria. keep up. Yeah, that's right. So that is how I managed to work my way to the, the national team. Wow, that's great. Did you want win or maybe uh, got any trophies for your club before you left? Oh, yes. Yeah. I played for um, so from there from playing for Great Accra, uh, Ghana Commercial Bank. They they they, they coach me, okay. you know. They, yeah, they signed me onto their team because we are about there were about three of us that we are all under the same coach. Okay. And we we're, we're up and coming, very energetic, very hungry for success and everything. So they. Mm-hmm. Spoke to our coach and the coach said, "Okay, I'm gonna push all the, all the three of you to Ghana Commercial Bank." So in fact, we were like the the Real Madrid or the you know, <laughs> for, 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 the, for that club. And yeah. um, the three of us, you know, we are the same level. Hmm. So most of the time, we are able to win three two or three zero or three one because we are as strong as I mean the third seed, you oh, know. Yes. Yeah, so I played for Ghana Commercial Bank okay. until 1997. Okay. Yeah, but before that, I've, um, I've represented Ghana in okay. um, international. International. Countries. Okay, which country? Yeah. Which country? I've been, I've been to Nigeria. I've okay, to Nigeria. To... Okay. Apart from Nigeria, where else did you play to represent Ghana? Um, 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 Kenya. Yeah, okay, okay, okay. And we, we came back, so we came, 96, we came back to um, Kenya, uh, Nigeria to play the the Olympics qualifier. Okay, uh, Olympics. For, for the Atlanta. Mm. Yeah, and yeah, two of my colleagues, they qualified for the Atlanta game. So That's... after that, mm. after that, we went to Nairobi, Kenya to play um, all of um, African competition okay and and we, and we were we won the bronze medal then okay you mean in uk no in no 96 we went to we went to um kenya to play okay African kenya games. okay okay just to make it clear yeah yeah that's in that was in um, n- n- november 96 oh that's and then, great and then 97 97 i think if my memory will tell me right 97 that was, that was around march or april mm. we came we came to uk to play the world championship so that world championship third. wow how many of you represented ghana then uh, four of us four, you remember their names <laughs> yeah um <laughs> me yeah lawrence, lawrence ade yeah. Mm-hmm. and uh Eric, Eric Kamwa, we were the four male that. Okay, came. okay. Then the, then the ladies who are playing the Gifimensa, Lydia, and um, one of our girls. Okay, that's all, right. that, that's all right. That's all right. That's <laughs> all right. Wow, that's good. Uh, then, do you have a specific coach who brought you down to UK by then? Yeah, um, I was still with. After after the Chinese coach left, yes, uh, I was still under my 
my my coach. Okay. My coach Escalote. So he was able to build up on what the Chinese coaches have taught me and was working with me and so but unfortunately ninety six he had a he had, he had a stroke so okay. he wasn't he wasn't able to come to the stadium to you know coach to do training and stuff like that. Okay. That's right. Okay. okay. It was, it was, for it was away for six months. So for that six months I was basically on my own. Okay. Even though there were there were other coaches, but I was basically on my own. I just go to training and just practice on what I've been taught already and everything. Okay. That's and then it started it started getting better and it started coming, but it wasn't the same anymore. Of course, you know? of course, of yeah. course, of course. That's great. You have been doing a great job for your country. Uh, uh, I think uh, the audience over there will say yes. This is a good job from uh, Eric. Now, anyways, when did you come to UK? Is it because of uh, table tennis as well, or just for a different reason for that? Yeah, it was, it was table tennis that brought me to the UK. Wow, look at that. Yes, yes, it was table tennis. Look that at that, me. look at that. Then, uh, yes. are you happy to play for your country now, or maybe you're no longer available for your country? If I assume that's <laughs> going to be like a, yeah, yeah, it's a tough question, I know that. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah but since since I came, yes. since I came, I've been um I went back okay. and um I played the the all African games. Actually, since I I went to France to play another world championship. Okay. That was, that was two thousand and three. Okay. Yeah, yeah I, I went to play another world championship there, and then from there I went to Abuja. Mm. To Played the All African Games in 2003 as well mm-hmm. after the World Championship in France, and uh, we won bronze at the Abuja. And oh, once, congratulations! Thank you. <laughs> and one thing, yeah. we were we were defeated by your country people, the Nigerians. Ah, the Nigeria, the giant of Africa, isn't it? <laughs> yes. That's good. That's good. You no, know, you have been yeah. talking. You know, you know, taking taking us through your experience. Uh, let me just give you a short break. Let's just play this for our viewers, okay? To know the importance of what of a uh, table tennis again. One sec. Hello, everybody. My name is Rahmat Ella, and let me tell you a little Welcome back again. So I'm still with the same person, uh, Eric. Okay, he has been telling us about his experience all the way from Ghana. Don't think he's in Ghana at the moment. He's still in UK. We're coming to that question shortly. Anyways, Eric, uh, we uh, heard that uh, you are very strong a uh, player. What is your strength when you are playing table tennis? <laughs> <laughs> Don't, then, don't don't tell us the full secrets, okay? Just a little bit. What's the main strength in you? Of course, yeah. I, yeah, my main strength is my is my forehand. Mm. You know? Yes, and uh, 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 quite a few people. Any any anyone that you know I play against, that's the first thing that they notice. They show the the, the full force of. <laughs> I, my, my forehand and and those day, and those days just because yeah. I think I was very I was very blessed to when I was growing up have a Chinese coach to okay yeah yeah he said it, yeah explain, explain the foundation of you know playing table tennis hmm. and 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 those days one thing I could remember was that they said um you don't you don't play with your with your hand but with, you play with your your leg. Your leg, if, okay. Yes, yes. If, if you want power, you don't get the power from your hand. From the hand. You get the power from the, power from the what we call weight transfer. Hmm. So you transfer the weight from your right leg 
into your hands. So they, they, someone can see you, you look very skinny, but the power that comes from your arm is, okay. is, is very strong. So that is what I've managed to maintain that kind of concept. Okay. To, hmm. to play my, so my phone is my strongest weapon. Wow. <laughs> I can see it myself, all to be honest with you. Because uh the first time I watched your game, that it was in Borges Hill, we went there for a tournament yeah. together. You know, if you remember very well, we just did some kind of a rally about two, three yeah. minutes. Listening. I can see the way you know the phone is so powerful to me. I, mean, I can't even easily control it, you know what I mean? Okay, thank yeah. you for answering that question. And um have you traveled back to Ghana again to see the situation in Ghana now? Maybe, do you think that the coach over there, they are still strong, or maybe the players there, do we still have like a talent players like you in Ghana? Yeah, as for the talent, it's, 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 it's there. I mean, it's uncountable, the talent over there. Okay. You know, but unfortunately, these kids are not getting the same good start like we had hmm. you know? so what i've noticed is that yeah. they, they are not starting with the same kind of solid foundation you know okay. they are not starting with the, even the same skill the right skill how to you know turn and hit the forehand and everything they, they are just doing their best what they can do <laughs> and unfortunately hmm. the coaches uh, quite a few have passed away and Oh, no. They are not replacing them with new players, uh, new coaches. You know, even the old ex players. Hmm. That, when it comes to coaches, is it, very poor. I, I think if I could count yeah. the whole of the country, I don't, I don't think they've got even ten qualified table tennis coaches. Wow! Now. Wow! And before, wow. before it was a lot of coaches. Lot. You know, everybody here, yeah, but they, they, are, they are not doing nothing about it but there are players there ex players there who wanted to do it but it's all, it all boils down to finance and the the, the sports association they're not taking mm. they're not giving the opportunity to okay. play yeah okay then so this is doing their own thing thank you yeah. so much but what advice do you have for ittf in africa or maybe specifically in ghana what advice do you have for them as you know as a professional table tennis player at least because you know the future is important, you know what I mean. Yeah, Table tennis shouldn't be shouldn't you know stop or put an hand. We have to continue to do it. So please, what advice do you have for them based on your own experience? Yeah, uh, African development, the ITTS, there's there's quite a lot that they can do in terms of um providing them uh, the main problem is coaching. Coaching the main hmm. yeah, is coaching. The, the kids, they are willing. They, they, they are very, very enthusiastic about getting to table tennis and everything. So if, if they can provide the African countries with more coaching seminars and also okay. they are able to work with the sports ministries in the various African countries so that when they, when they provide these coaches with the coaching certificate, yeah. they are able to to offer them employment. Employment, yeah. yeah. That's right. They're able to offer them employment. So they will be they will be doing it on a full time basis. Because during our time, all the coaches yeah. were being paid by the sports ministry. So that is their yeah. that, that is their full time job. So mm. from from the morning from nine AM they are the sports or some seats come, those who are off and everything, they come and train mm. all the way to five 6 p.m. They are there. That's their full time wow. job. If the coaches are not there, there's no way that these kids will be able to even improve. They just come and they just do their own thing. So one of That's the areas that the the African table tennis can coach is the, is the coaching aspect of it. Okay. So they'll provide this kind of seminars for them, and then they'll be able to work with the sports ministry so that they can have jobs with that kind of with, with the, uh, um, the the uh, qualification. The qualification. So if they go the and they are not using it, yeah, that that would be that would be a waste. So that is what Ghana specifically they are lacking right now. There's okay. no coaches. Mm. There's no coaches. 
Okay. Yeah, maybe, also, maybe one of the official might be, you know, listening and watching us now. So at least our, you know, our thing is just to tell them or to advise them to make suggestions for them. So they have to make, just make, make, make sure they uh, implement or take the action. So the next question is, as an individual, may as you yourself as a professional table tennis player, how do you motivate the future players? Or how do you well, inspire them? Yeah. Well, yeah, since 2003, yeah. uh, I kind of like do, kind of retired from the sport for so many years. Okay. You know, unwillingly, but because of there were so many things that were happening, especially whilst I was here, I was here in Ghana that if you wanna participate for your country, there's so many challenges. They they literally put so many hurdles in the way just to frustrate you. You know, okay. so it gets to a point, it's like, why am I even doing this? I just have the love for a game. I remember the first time that I went back to um Ghana, after staying here, we organized a competition and, you know, we just contributed, we just did something small and we organized a competition. Okay. But after, after that, I realized that these people back home, they think that you are, you are doing that just to get some position and all that, you know, and therefore it's kind of discouraging to go on. They, they, they make things very, very difficult. Very difficult. Just to, yeah, that's right. So mm. I guess I just just watched man from the game for more than 15, 16 years. I never, wow. I never played for years. Wow. I don't, yeah, because of the kind of, um, unfortunately, I have to say, because of the kind of uh, treatment <laughs> that I received, I received from them. And and the biggest one was that when um, I qualified for the Olympic Games in Athens, yeah. which is as a sports person, it's a very big achievement to to have. To, take part in the Olympics. They, they they were so blase about the whole thing that they wow. didn't even bother to communicate with the IOC, the International Olympic Committee, because you have to confirm that your your, your player is, is turning up for the Olympic Games. Yes. So the whole of Africa, they only give that at that time they only give um, six places for table tennis. Six. And the whole of Africa. Just six for the men, you know, mm. and I was one of one of the six. So they want to make sure that all the players that are supposed to participate from Africa turn up. Yes. They don't want to go with five players from Africa. Then the IOC will say that actually you don't even need six anymore. We already mm. give you five. So they don't want to. They don't want that. So every time there's um. Uh, the competition, they, you have to confirm that, yes, my player will turn up. And they didn't do that for me. So it wow. kind of like discouraged Ooh. me from, from table tennis. So yeah. I have not really been actively involved in essential back home table tennis for all these years. It's mm -hmm. only until recently that okay. I said, no, nah, I need to come back into the sport again. Yeah, so there's been a big vacuum. Definitely. Um, yeah, <laughs> Definitely. Yeah. Uh, th th thank you so much, uh, Mr. Eric. Then another question that comes to my mind now is that um, uh, I met you at a Burgess Hill, like I said the other mm -hmm. time. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And uh, you won the competition. Yes or no? I remember. <laughs> yeah. I thought yeah. you, you won two or one. That's right. I won wow. two. I won. Yeah. I I'll manage, please tell me. And also, yesterday, we have been told that also won another veteran, isn't it? For London yeah, Grand Prix 2022. How many? Right. Before the last question, please. <laughs> First of all, congratulations before you step forward. Thank you. Thank Good you. job. Thank yeah. You. Is there any, right. maybe another coach behind here that, you know, reinforcing you, motivating you, you know? Please tell us. Well, um, I would really like to say a very big thank you to Ego. You know, Ego. you know Ego. Yeah, yeah, yeah. that's right. I, I, if 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 it has not been for Ego, mm -hmm. I wouldn't even be sitting here right now having this interview. Because um, <laughs> he, he, remembers, he remembers me about twenty years ago. 
and he saw the talent in me and everything. Mm-hmm. And he also want if you ask Igor, one thing that he always says is that Eric got a very big forehand. He's got <laughs> a very powerful forehand. So oh. when I came out of the and he's been looking for me all these years. Wow. Just wow. That he, never, he never had my contact. So he's been looking for me. So the day that he got hold of me, that was mm-hmm. actually that was just last year. Wow. Yes, yeah, that was just last year, and he never gave up. From any time he calls me, I would tell him I'll be coming. Then I just, you know, I don't turn up and everything. So it got to a point. I said, the way this man is so persistent, and he believes in me more than I even believe in myself. Wow. Let me just give, <laughs> let me just give you a try, you know. And and I went. My first day was it was terrible. I, I just couldn't even move. I was, you know. <laughs> I was so tired and everything, but I thought that there's still something in me, mm-hmm. you know. So it was just basically coming back from, I, w- I won't say retirement, but just coming coming back from not playing for so many years. Yes. Within two, within two three weeks, I won my first competition. I was like, whoa. Whoa. <laughs> yeah. so, it's still there, isn't it? It's still there. Yeah. <laughs> it's still there. It's still there. Even though I struggled in terms of fitness wise, I saw but mm. I was able to win and said, No, if I can do this in such a very short period, then imagine if I put a bit more effort in it. Support. You know? Yeah, that's right. You know, so he, he registered me to play for a club, okay. so then I yeah, I play for play so then so okay. as time goes on, I would gain my stamina, my feet and everything. And I could see that I'm 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 getting there. Yeah. I'm getting there. Yeah. And since I started, it's not even been a year. But I've won quite a few competitions. That's good. You know? Yes, I've won I've won quite a few competitions. And like you said, yesterday was even the biggest one, the London. Biggest, the biggest, biggest one. Yeah. <laughs> wow, wow. That, that's a great one. Uh, thanks so much to Igor, of course. Uh he's, oh, yeah. he's really is a good man, to be honest. He also supported me as well. He took me down to okay. Clisold. Yes. He oh, wow. really, yeah. Yes, he took me down to Clisold. Yes, of course. And also so many tournaments as well. He asked me to participate, you know. I worked together mm-hmm. with him, to be honest. So he's a good man. He's a man that we should never forget, isn't he? <laughs> oh, oh, yeah. He's, he's very, very passionate about it. Honestly. Sport, and honestly. I wish, honestly. I wish that there would be many more people like that. Actually, in yeah. Africa. Yeah. In Africa, yeah. not here. <laughs> <laughs> okay uh let me ask you the last question if you don't mind please why mm-hmm. have you chosen table tennis as your main sport why not football why is it table tennis is it because maybe table tennis is it for everybody or what are the benefits especially for yourself playing table tennis that's going to be my last question okay you know like i said uh, from the beginning yeah yes in table tennis you can just you don't need a lot of um, resources to start playing table tennis. Sometimes you can even draw, you know, the table <laughs> on the floor and then put it together. The, so that's right. And you just start playing. It's easy to, to do that. And you okay. can do anywhere in the house, in the compound, in every. You can just play table tennis. So the difference is not like a football that you need a football pitch. So you have to go to a specific, you know, place. <laughs> place. Yeah, but with table tennis, it's all over. You know, you can mm. play even, even your little bedroom. You can play table tennis. You can play table tennis. Right now, <laughs> right I'm talking to you, my dining table. I can use it to play table tennis. Play table kitchen. tennis after eating, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's very, it's very accessible. You can just, mm-hmm. you know, do it. And on top of that, yeah, I was, I never dreamt of becoming a table tennis um, a professional. Professional. It was okay. by somebody. Who saw the talent in me hmm. that okay, it's got it's got a bit of a gift. You can work on that's it. That's support. It. Yeah, that's right. But it, so it wasn't it wasn't a sport that I chose. Someone chose it for me and I ran with it. Hmm. That's right. Yes, someone chose it for me because of my potential. And and I I ran with it. And I, to be honest, I I did love the game. Hmm. I loved it. But the treatment that I had. That love that I have away. Unfortunately, 
But Fudgy right now is back again. The love He's back too. again. <laughs> and more, even more, more, more better than before. Oh, yes. Yeah, yes. yeah. And Apart from the fact we can play tip tennis everywhere, what other benefit do you think in terms of maybe mentally or physically, socially, emotionally? Do you think table tennis is worth that? Table tennis is, um, when we were back home, uh, it's like, we, it's, a, it's a family thing. When I say family, not uh, a, a, a blood family, but people all from all over the country and everything, we see ourselves as, as a table tennis family. And mm. in fact, we see, I spend more time with my table tennis friends than, than my own <laughs> family. <laughs> yes, mm. you know. And it's, it's something that it brings us together because we all share one common thing. Table tennis, and and we love we we love the sport. We love what we do. So mm. apart from that, as so well, it's something that it helps you mentally. It makes you mm. sharp. It makes you think smart and everything, and it helps your reflexes as well. Definitely, that's why it's good for your health. Everything. It's a very, <laughs> it's a very fast sport. And so. is it expensive or cheaper in terms of you know finance? <laughs> what no. can you say? <laughs> I think. I, I think both ways, yeah, nowadays the rubbers are quite expensive, you know. <laughs> Buying bars, yeah. isn't it? Yes, yeah, the, 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 pounds. That's right, <laughs> it's very, very expensive, and you have to maintain that kind of level when you are playing at the at, uh, higher, you know, standard. Yeah, uh, yeah, standard. You have to maintain the, the rubbers and everything, which, yeah, it can be very that's good, that's good, that's good, especially if you're not getting funded. Thank you. Thank, thank, thank you so much, Eric. Have you got your bat and ball by your side? Because somebody said to me, if you're a professional player, okay, your bat <laughs> yes. and your ball is always be by your side. I am not a professional, <laughs> but all the time, my bat and my ball is always by my side. Isn't it? <laughs> okay, before, before we call it a day, let's quickly, uh, you know, let me play these, uh, uh, what is it? This uh, clip. Hello, everybody. My name is Rahman Tala Ella, and let me tell you a little secret about table tennis. Do you know that table tennis can be played by anyone, anywhere? Now, as you can see, I want the part that I can play table tennis. Now, let's watch other people bouncing the ball. Have ever met this guy before, Aruna? You know what? Uh, yes, please. <laughs> <you believe? laughs> the time that I was playing, yeah. Aruna wasn't even the same. Hmm. Like in, in terms of the Nigerian players that I know, I, I know Shegu Toriola, I know Kasim, I know Sunday, okay. I know Sule, you know, and then uh, those were those were the players at that time. You know, at that time, the, okay. The, Right, those, those were the players. So I haven't, I've not had the chance to, to okay. meet him. But... Don't worry. I'm going to bring you together. Don't worry. <laughs> <laughs> I promise you. Because you know, I, I believe that, you know, table tennis brings people together. Do you believe oh, that? Yes. Bring oh, people yes. together. It, it, it brings people well, Yeah. Because what brought together tennis. now? <laughs> exactly. Table tennis. Yeah, yeah we are together. And, and another thing, yeah. hopefully I'll be going back home Okay. Play trials, uh, Commonwealth Games. Okay, Commonwealth. Oh, it's, it's, I think it's next month, isn't it? Or next two months? Next two months, yeah. In Birmingham. In Birmingham, in Birmingham yeah. Are you representing Ghana? I'm going for the trials. So if I qualify, then wow. I'll be in there. Wow, I can't wait. I can't wait. That's Fingers crossed. Fingers that's crossed. good. That's good. That's good. That's good. Do you have any question for me before we call it a day? Well, I don't know about that question. I've been asking just... you a lot of questions, you know, more than, you know, more than 20 questions. So any question for me, or you give this today for me, maybe next time you're going to ask me a question. <laughs> oh, no. Actually, what, what, really, what, what really drew the, the drew you to table tennis and what made you, what, what made you have this kind of love that you want to interview? Well, 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 you know, generally, uh, I love table tennis and specifically 
the, the table tennis is just in my blood. I don't know what to do without table tennis. So I could oh, see wow. the, the, uh, the, the, the nature, how the table tennis looks like. So I've never seen something of this nature in table tennis. You understand the point? Mm -hmm. I see, how can we be bringing the people on the top, especially people that don't have opportunity to see them? You understand? We have to do this one so that they can share the experience with us to help the future generation. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. uh, so I'll be making sure that at least people that are thinking that table that is only for special people. Mm -hmm. With this thing I'm doing, so I show them and make sure that uh, table tennis is for everybody. Either you are old, you're young, you're a kid, it's for everybody. And wherever you are, you should be able to play what? Table tennis. Some people doesn't know Eric now. Now today, because of this interview, I'm very sure they know you and they see you wherever they see you. They say, oh, this is Eric. He was interviewed by Taj. So previously, I've you know, been bringing some people as well that you have never maybe think of seeing them or knowing them. But with this table tennis, I think everyone is now coming together. So maybe showcasing their talent to other people. And I said, because table tennis, you know, something that is going to be stopping is a continuation thing, just like a football as well. All right. But the di major difference is for the table tennis, you can play anywhere. You said it um, by anybody. But for football, if you are over 40, they will say, sorry, we can't take you, we can't consider you. But for table tennis, there's nothing like that. We have the age 75, 100, even playing table tennis. You get a point, no restriction in the ages. The kids, you know, they are the champions. You get a point now. So that's why I'm saying this table tennis, it shouldn't be so. We, so we're supposed to be promoting it. We're supposed to be working together as a team. In order to make it what move on, move further. And um, last uh, February 2020, 2022, so uh, I just fortunate that uh, England Table Tennis awarded me as one of uh, you know volunteer, the best volunteer of the year. So we oh, have uh, we have the Chris, we have myself, yeah. Tajidin, and we have the yeah. uh, another Chris yeah. as well. You get the point yeah. now. So because you know I am devoted to it. Even some yeah. people are thinking that Taji, you don't even work, or TJ, you don't work. I do my work, of course, but this table tennis is also part of my work. It's part of my life, and I'll continue to make it progress. Yesterday, we were there together at Bridge for right. London Grand. Yes, sir. So I met a lot of players. They are doing bouncing for me. And this bouncing, we are still going to use it for table tennis for anyone and everywhere, which is going to be part two. And you two are yeah. going to be part of the part two. So I believe we can work as a team isn't it to make it grow to make it or to for to see it where we have never even think of you know what I'm saying? so motivate and inspire the generation to understand that table tennis is for everybody and pass, have passion for it and you have the passion for it that's why you are there and that's why i'm here with you with others we can continue to make it grow have you got any other questions or we should yeah. try to call it in a year. Go over to you. Another thing uh, I like to add to um, what you have just said is that yeah. um, I remember when we were, uh, uh, when I was young and I was um, trying to develop my game. What the the Chinese coaches did was that they used rubbers that the, the national team were using in China. Okay. They used they used to box them. You know, you know, they, they, they don't use it so it's really, you know, it's worn out. They just use it for some few weeks or months and then they just change it. Okay. It's very expensive in Africa as a whole. If you are a beginner and you are learning table tennis, okay. you hardly, your parents cannot even afford to buy you a ball, let alone buy oh. you a rubber shoe. <laughs> you know? So you have one bat or, you know, the rubbers on it sometimes up to a year. So it doesn't okay. really help you to develop the strokes that you want to because some of the rubbers you can see they are so smooth yeah so even when you, when you when there's a stop and the backspin you can't hit the ball because it's going to go straight into the net Definitely. Now, this is what they, they, they were sending those used rubbers to us in oh, ghana yeah. and they were short, and the blades and everything so if this if there's something that we can do collectively yes we contact the ITTF okay. who can also contact the different countries i mean the chinese and the, the, the japans and the, the okay. germans so that the actual players when they use the rubbish yes. they can you know and give it. it to 
African case to use yes. it. Yes. So that they were able to develop the, 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 the spot at back. At least, well. at least. That's why those doesn't yeah. have anything to buy. You know what I mean? Yeah. yeah. And the, and the talent is there. It's in Africa, it. honestly. And, yes, and they use blades and everything. So through the sports council, okay. they will just share. And that is what they were doing for us. So I never bought a blade, a rubber in my rubber. life. Wow, wow. Until I, I came to here. Yeah, and even when you're traveling, then the government to give some find resources to, for you to buy rubber. Buy rubber when, okay. I, when I was training, I never bought rubber. I okay. never paid my coach and everything. Because, I mean, the, how many African parents can afford coaching? Right. They can't. <laughs> yeah. No. Yeah. <laughs> they yeah, need to sort, you know, food force. That's it, you know. <laughs> but, so these are the kind of things that maybe you'll be able to contact them and tell this is what you can also do to develop because if the more people that play table tennis is better for ice yes. definitely 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 and definitely. some of them, they, they they don't know what to do with those rubbish you know mm. they just recycle them but if they get to understand that there's so many kids in africa that love the game but they cannot you don't have the resources afford. yeah that's right then it's something yeah. that i'm sure they'll yeah. be able to you know, that's a good point. Yeah. That's a good point. That's a good point. We 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 note it down so we see what we can do with it by God's grace. Okay. When when we went to the, uh, France for the for the world championship, yes, that's why Ghana didn't have a sponsor. Like no no um, table tennis company was they were sponsoring Ghana. Sponsor, okay. But, but Nigeria had a sponsor. They, I yeah. think they were being they were, they were being sponsored by Tiba. So I was a captain for the uh, Ghana for the national team. Yeah. So I did, I did approach, I approached Butterfly, I approached um, Metaku, I approached Yasaka, I approached uh, Tiba. Okay. And uh, yeah, and Andro. And fortunately, Tiba said, okay, we're going to sponsor you. That's good. So within two months, we shipped a box of table tennis, um, rubbers, clothes, and everything. And that is what we wore to the All African Games in Nigeria. So it was mm. very nice. Yes. Just a way of this. But if I had not contact them, yes. this opportunity would have been missed. It didn't Definitely. Cost us a, Definitely. It didn't cost us a penny. So I just went to all of them and I said, we would like you to sponsor. I mean, how much did it cost them? Next to nothing. Yes. So if we are able to approach ICTF and okay. say, all these, you know, top leading countries in table tennis and let them package their use resources and we send it to Africa. Definitely. 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 Yeah. Definitely. Yeah. Definitely. We we look into that. We look into that. Uh mm. what can we say now? But well, we just have to say big thanks to Eric Hammond for having time. You know, he's been working since morning, of course, but she's you know, <laughs> reserved this time for us and just you know got this uh interview done. Thank you so much. I really appreciate okay. it. And next time we invite you, I hope you are going to accept our invite, isn't it? Definitely, so definitely. And finally, I also like to take this opportunity to thank my my lovely wife who I've been with for the past how many years now? Mm, about twenty four years now. Whoa. Yeah. So I just want to thank her so much for her support and and our kids as well. They, in fact, they've been amazing. They've been supporting me from the beginning and they are still supporting me and my extended family as well who okay. have shown love and interest and they they, they, they believe in me as mm. well that oh man away I, yeah, that's right they believe <laughs> in me. i want to thank all of them and my friends and all my loved ones for all their support i really appreciate them and i thank god he's not the last he's the first so i thank god so much for wonderful things that he has done for me thank you so much Thank you so much, bro. Uh, because you are thanking everybody, what can I do as well? I have to yes. show my appreciation to everybody. Of course, glory be to God for everything. Yeah, we uh, appreciate, of course, our lovers, our wives, children, friends, family, neighbors, even this country where we are living. We appreciate them for every opportunity given to us. We appreciate. And we hope our country also is going to be better and better and better and better and better and become best as well. Oh, thank you so much, everybody. Uh, my name is Thierry Mee, and today I'm just with Eric Amon. And next time we're going to meet, bye for now. Thank you so much. Thank you. Yeah.
Wow. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you.